To me, teenage is about the birth of youth culture. It's the prehistory of teenagers. It's about a time before we knew kind of what youth was about, what youth could be, and uh, people were battling to define it. I was just breathing. I wasn't about to talk. <clears throat> I was going to let John go first, but the, ca <laughs> <laughs> the camera just panned over. <laughs> I guess personally, um, to me, it is showing us um, how people acted during a time of their lives, during different times in our history. And uh, I, I love it because it helps me with history, world history, and helps me understand things, but also makes me feel, mm, I don't know, not so alone or something. You feel like, sort of like, plugged into something. But for me, it's also about time travel, and it's also about the nature of youth, and it's about the similarities between generations and the differences between generations, because at the root of it is a basic physiological process, which is puberty, which is then defined as adolescence, and then become the teenage, which is a commercial solution. But it's, so, it's something that everybody experiences as a, as a human being, as a stage of human development, but also they experience it in different times. And it's fascinating to see people experience it through different times. And it brings you back to your own teenage, which for me was in the late 60s, early 70s, and also to teenagers now. One of the great things that we've had already with this film is actually talking to real-time teenagers and getting their response. It's very much a story about the early 20th century and how during this period young people faced a kind of unprecedented oppression from their yes. parents yeah. and the governments and the police and they were kind of struggling for the most basic forms of recognition and they wanted to be treated like equals. So upon finishing the film, I started to think of teenage kind of as being about, um, you know, a, an early youth movement that should be looked at alongside other civil rights struggles. Although youth culture is, is, is seen in terms of consumerism, it's also helped to uh, facilitate a great many social changes. Adults will say, you know, that genera this young generation is apathetic, they're apolitical, they're completely consumed by, you know, television and mass media and they don't think critically and it's just really easy for an older generation to dismiss the young. And um, in a sense, I see teenage as a kind of cultural history of teenage rebellion. The stories we spotlight are of the kind of rebels who actually, you know, changed the future.